The DR landscape has changed as all media has changed. Uh, everything uh, in DR has measured and has been measured for many years from an 800 number to a URL to any type of media that gets invested, a return has to come back in some way, shape or form. So as uh, the landscape is changing and, and clients are more data driven and need to understand their, if things are working well and there's uh, more uh, measurements uh, tools that are available, the DR and the general market uh, environments are sort of merging a little bit. And so now everything is going to be m measured, whether it's a DR campaign or whether it's a uh, general market national campaign, there's always measurements that are tied to that. So what does addressable mean, addressable TV mean to the DR marketer? So addressable, uh, as, as we define it, is the ability to sort of target an audience, and measure it, and understand the connectivity of that measurement. So for, for DR, um, since everything that we do is measured, it's a supplement to measurement. Uh, we identify a, a, an audience uh, through addressable. Uh, and then we um, find out whether that validation of that target um, meets the measurements. So tell us about categories and kind of what's working and sort of the attitudes towards advertisers, where sort of the buy side is now and where you hope it goes over the next 12 months. Um, so many different categories are using addressable. We have uh, co-ops, energy co-ops that are using it to target uh, their uh, constituents within certain uh, geographic locations. So as an example, zip codes. They narrow down their zip codes, we serve them their ad, so we understand they go into the websites to, to see what, what uh, the co-op is, is going to be doing f uh, in their area. Um, additionally, we also have insurance companies that l are looking to validate their uh, claims their their uh, customers to see if that's the target that they're looking for. So there's a lot of variety of categories that utilize uh, the addressable platforms in various different ways. Tell us about the inventory that's available that's sort of attractive to you, both uh, digital, uh, the virtual MVPDs like 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 Sling or the the cable operators. Um, what what is the inventory that works for you, and how widely are you playing in that? So we, we, we sort of separate that inventory in two, in two streams. One is the premium inventory that we target. So in other words, um, if we go after target, there is inventory that sort of serves that target. On the flip side, there's what, the, what, they, what is called an under-deliverable addressable. So in other words, there's inventory that's left over that is not being targeted. So we can take advantage of both the one that's premium priced as a targeting uh, mechanism and the one that is not targeted that has a much more efficient uh, cost that we can take advantage of. So as an example for, for uh, some of the MVPDs like, like Sling, we can take advantage of the under addressable in inventory at a cost effective CPM. And um, you know, tell us a little bit about how you see the future of addressable, uh, you know, for DR, but also within assembly. Of course, you work with the national advertisers, sort of indirectly at least. Where where do you see this thing growing? So I I see the culmination of both entities sort of merging together as everybody is trying to understand measurement and targetability. So whether it's placed in uh, in an upfront or whether it's placed in scatter or whether it's placed in DR, everything will get measured in some way, shape or form and follow that journey from, from investment to uh, an execution to an understanding of how that consumer went through the media journey. So what that means is that um, it, it will sort of be a blurred event in terms of what, what department handles uh, that inventory. But the overall will be that, uh, number one, the, the efficiency and the expediting of inventory and optimization will be there for both addressable in the DR world as well as the, in the scatter or upfront world. And how does that change the um, value proposition, the pricing? So interesting enough, uh, the, the pricing between both has sort of remained steady. 
but the advantage that, 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 that we have under the sort of DR umbrella is that there's more flexibility in terms of coming in and out of, of that inventory a lot quicker. The understanding of the inventory that we have is the same as a general advertiser but we have more flexibility in terms of the pricing, in terms of flighting. For your clients at Assembly who may not be familiar with Addressable, um, how do you suggest that they get into it? What's your approach to them? So uh, what I try to do is, is uh, there's a lot of uh, sort of timidness about what Addressable is because it's complex in, on, on the surface. And so it has to do with targeting, data, there's a lot of logistics that have to happen. So in its simplest form, there's ways to use Addressable by um, simply targeting a household, whether that be, so if you take the concept of direct mail, which has been around for years, it's the same idea, is how do you get a, a direct mail list and target that? So what we do is we say, if you just wanna target somebody, that's easily done. Now the measurement part is a little bit more complex, but it also depends on what it is that you're trying to go after. So messaging only to a certain individual household is key for addressable, but also you can add the layer of measurability in there to understand if campaigns work or not. So if you take the spectrum between a simple campaign, you can, you can enter that, that category that way or, or then build yourself up to a more com complex campaign.